Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parsala. This is a problem of CSIR NET December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. This is a question of abstract algebra part B. The question ID is 704038. So to solve this question first we read this. Let G be a G be any finite group which one of the following is necessarily true. Option 1 says that G is a union of proper subgroups. Option 2 says that G is a union of proper subgroups if order of G has at least two distinct prime divisors. Option 3 says that if G is abelian then G is a union of proper subgroups. Option 4 says that if G is a union of proper subgroups, yeah, sorry, G is a union of proper subgroups, if and only G is not cyclic. So for any finite group G, which one will be necessarily true? That is, uh, which option would be in general true? So seeing this option, first look at option 4 that G is a union of proper subgroups if and only G is not cyclic. So this option actually can be proved in general. So first we will prove this option, option 4 and then we will uh, consider all other options. So we will prove this option 4. We will prove this option 4 that is G is a union of proper subgroups if and only G is not cyclic. So first we prove this uh, sufficient part that is uh, let us suppose that G is not cyclic. Then we will show that G is a union of proper subgroups. So as G is not cyclic, there is no generator of G and given that G is finite group, so we can suppose that G is like this, say elements are A1, A2 dot dot AN and one of these AI must be the identity element. Now, see here, if we consider the subgroup generated by this A1, cyclic subgroup. If we consider this cyclic subgroup generated by A2, up to dot dot, this AN. So as G is not cyclic, all these subgroups are proper subgroups because if some sub uh, some of these subgroups is equal to G, that is some subgroup generated by say AI equal to G, then AI will be a generator of G and G will be cyclic, but which is not so. So all of these are proper subgroups. So for each AI is proper subgroups of G for all I equal to 1 top to N. And clearly if we take the union of these proper subgroups, we will we must get the G because, because all these are proper subsets, subgroups of G and as well as any element of G is one of these subgroups. So G is equal to this clearly. So, so one part is proved that if G is not cyclic, then G is expressed as a union. That is G is a union of proper subgroups. Now we will prove the converse part. That is, we suppose that, we suppose that G is union of proper subgroups. G is union of proper subgroups. G is union of proper subgroups. So, we can write G equal to, say, union, some, h i i equal to 1 2 up to say m 
so this hi all these hi are subgroups of g and they are proper subgroups of g by the given hypothesis now we have to show that g must be uh, non cyclic so uh, if possible suppose g is cyclic if possible suppose if possible suppose that g is cyclic So, as G is cyclic, there exists some A belongs to G such that A is a generator of G. That means this cyclic subgroup generated by A is equal to G. So, as G equal to union of this HI, so A must be in this one of this HI. So, suppose A belongs to say some HJ for some J. And now, since Aj is a subgroup containing A, so we must have the cyclic subgroup generated by A, which is the smallest subgroup containing A, is must be a subset of Aj, and also Aj is subset of G, and also G equal to this generated by A, so we must have, so we must have all these inclusions are equality, so we must have this Aj is actually equal to this G. So that is Aj uh, cannot be the proper subgroup. So this expression is not possible uh, when we suppose that G is cyclic. So this is a contradiction. So we must have G is not cyclic. So we must have G is not cyclic. So this option 4 is now proved that when G is not cyclic, then G is a union of proper subgroups and when G is cyclic, then this cannot happen because this is if and only. So, option 4 is the correct option here. And now look at option 1 that G is a union of proper subgroups. So, from option 4, if we take any uh, group G which is cyclic, then G cannot be expressed as a union of proper subgroups. So, if we take G equal to say Z6 which is cyclic, then option 1 is not true because here G is cyclic, so G is not the union of its, its proper subgroup. So option 1 is not the correct option. Now look at option 2. If G is a union of proper subgroups, sorry, G is a union of proper subgroups, if order of G has at least two distinct prime divisors, so for option 1, we have taken G equal to Z6, that is 3 and 2, both are distinct prime divisors of order of G, but also here G is cyclic, so G is not the union of proper subgroup. So option 2 is not the correct option. Now look at option 3. If G is abelian, then G is the union of proper subgroups, but for option 1 we have taken Z6, which is cyclic and which must be abelian. So also as it is cyclic, G is not the union of proper subgroup. So, so if G is abelian, if G is abelian, then if we take some cyclic group then that must be abelian and then g cannot be expressed as union of proper subgroup so option 3 is not the correct option so here option 4 is the only correct option and option 1 2 3 are not the correct option this is the solution of this problem